people, somebody asked me this the other day, they're like, triangle concepts. Nobody, nobody has it, nobody runs the triangle anymore, right? Does it exist in the NBA? And the truth of the matter, there are still concepts that exist. They are. So we don't, the Chicago cut, yep. which was when you throw it in the post, the guard would cut through, screen in the middle of yep. paint. For the big guy, you yep. don't want to switch that. Yep. If you do switch it, you know, Pekovic from Minnesota would yep. catch the ball at yep. five feet against sure. me and just jump hook, yep. right? Easy breezy. Yep. Now, teams don't really run the Chicago cut anymore. The two things that they still run, blind pig, yep. which New York runs for Brunson all the time, yep. where Hartenstein or Mitchell Robertson flashes to the elbow. Yep. You deny Jalen Brunson, he's Boop. getting that back cut yep. going downhill. They'll get into the step-up picker rolls with blind pig action, yep. right? And then the Golden State post splits. Just splits. The post splits. The post splits. I have been wanting to have this conversation with you for so many years because yep. I have said the Golden State post splits, specifically with that team, is like the hardest action to guard. Yep. I was doing research on something else the other day, and I was looking up because uh, I was for a Boston game because Porzingis has the highest efficiency in the tracking era for points per direct post up. Yep. Right. He's Every time they switch a smaller guy on him, so, he's mashing, whatever. Draymond was at the top of the list for a bunch of years. In 1819, he had the highest efficiency on post-ups of any player in the NBA. And you're like, well, Draymond doesn't score in the post. But they're throwing him the ball, and either Steph and Clay are running their action. We yep. saw back in 22, Wiggins would be the screener slip for the yep. dunk. Yep. They also involved the big. So yep. Steph and Clay are doing their little dance. Yep. Looney then Looney, comes and yep, cleans it up. Yep, because right. the big that's guarding Looney is drop. sitting in the damn paint. Yep, yep, exactly. It's the hardest thing to guard. Yep. You guarded it four straight finals. Yep. What are your thoughts on how to defend it? When Draymond catches the ball in the post, the one thing, the first thing you have to do, you have to track his eyes. You can't track the ball because Draymond has the ability. What they kind of, they, they started to take out in our league is a swipe through. So obviously he has his back towards the basket. You have to track his eyes because if you track the ball with your hand, he'll go underneath your arms. He used to get that foul. The second thing you have to do, you have to get the bodies right away. And you can't get to the top side because Steph and Clay are great at back doors and get to the rim. You have to get to the lower hip of them. And who's ever setting the screen has to give a little space so you don't allow it to slip. And the guy that's guarding either Steph or Clay that's coming off, you have to get to the bottom hip of their shoulder and trail them all the way out. The two most important people in the whole thing is the two guys that's weak side. Mm. When they have those, when they have certain shooters out there, it's very difficult. But nine times out of ten, when we were playing them in the finals, it was at times, it was JaVale McGee and Iguodala. It was Andrew Bogut. Sean and Livingston. Sean Livingston. Harrison Barnes. When everything went haywire, <laughs> when it was fucking Kevin Durant over there and another shooter, it was like impossible to guard because you couldn't help from the weak side because now Draymond's such a great IQ player. If you help, if you tag from the guy on the weak side, he throws it all the way across court. You can actually see, there's a play that you can watch on YouTube probably where they were taking the ball out on SOB. No. Side out of bounds. Yeah, not son of a bitch. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Side out of bounds. And I was getting ready. I was 2 nining on the strong side because they were about to get into some split action. Steph takes the ball out and throws it all the way to the weak side corner by their bench. And I try to close out the KD because I'm looking, trying to shrink the floor. He throws it from the sideline out of bounds all the way across. I close out, slips, falls on the ground, KD dunks the ball. But back to your point that I don't understand. Well, I do understand why most, most teams don't run it because they don't have— They, they don't, don't have, have the personnel. They don't have the personnel. They don't have the there personnel. There are certain teams that— like. Right now, Mike Brown in Sacramento is kind of running some split action. Yeah. He has those shooters. He has, he has, you know, obviously Kevin Herter. You know, he has uh, the kid Keegan Murray who can shoot the piss out the ball, and also the speed of De'Aaron Fox. You know, they they play a lot of pinch posts with Demonis, 
who's now triple double threat you every game. A, you need a pastor like Sabonis. You have to though. have, yeah. You have to have a pastor. You have to have like a Sabonis pastor or Draymond. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. You're like Demond is Draymond, Mark Gasol back in his day. Um, you know, certain guys, obviously Joker, he does, he's one of a kind, but you have to have the personnel. You have to have the personnel. Um, the, the thing with the post splits for me is like, you can, let's say they involved Looney. What do they call you? What do your, what do your kids call you? Dad, why? No, when you when you coaching, what do they call you? Coach, Coach JJ, Coach. <laughs> oh, they just, they, they, they just call you JJ. They just call you JJ. Oh shit! Okay. Lock your iPhone first. Yeah. No, we don't want to talk to you right now, Siri. They, they they just call me JJ. They just call you JJ. Okay, you got a good. By the way, chemistry with your I kids. tell them all this. I tell them this all the time. You brought up the 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 flubbing that ATO play. Yeah. I don't care <laughs> if you miss a shot. I don't even care if you take a bad shot. I've never yelled at a kid or gotten on a kid for taking any shot. Right. I never have. Now I may after a game be like. Hey, you know, we were up seven with 42 seconds. You didn't need to shoot a right, contested right, right. step back three. We could have just dribbled <laughs> the clock out, right? What drives me crazy, right. though, is when I drop an ATO, and then we go out, and they forget it. It's like, dude, it's been 10 seconds. I, my, my big thing with them now is, like, don't worry about what I'm drawing up. Just watch you. Just That's pay it. attention to That's you. That's it. Just watch you. Just watch That's you. you. That's you. Anyways, it. so let's say you involve K- Kevon Looney or whatever. Yep. And so the big decides to like you know be in a drop back here. Yep. So Steph and Clay they're up here doing yep. their dance or whatever. Yep. Um, they're going to get an open three. Yep. Right. Yep. If you switch out with Kevon Looney's guy, I think what's always been difficult for me is someone who's guarded that action. You were talking about body position. Yep. Bro, sometimes it doesn't matter. They're so good. The second you get on that angle, the second you turn your head. The cutting to the basket is the hardest part to me. Yep. Like, I can chase over a screen and get a contest on three. But, like, they're just, they, they, they keep you off balance, which is interesting that you bring up the weak side being the key to the whole thing. But you, that's, that's like, what you're saying is advanced basketball IQ. You know what, it's, you're saying, if I'm going Draymond in the post, Kevon Looney is at the, Quad. They're doing their thing. At the, at the free throw line. They're doing their thing. Yeah. You're saying that if he has a wide open three, why not? Are you saying Draymond's man just go take and then Kevon Looney just stays in the paint? Is that what you're saying? No, I, I'm saying as, as, as this guy. Right. As one of them. Yep. So we can switch this action. Yep. Let's say we're switching this yep. action. I'm saying if Kevon Looney is so worried He's in this, his guy's in this drop, right. and he's off the body. We're going to live with the contested three. Yep, yep. Right? You're going to give that up if you're worried about taking the layup. Yeah, for the sure. The second you bring Kavon Looney up, they're getting a layup. Yeah, for sure. They're getting a layup. Yeah, you're going to layup. They're too, it's too yeah, hard yeah. to guard. Yeah. The dance is too hard. Yeah, right. And they've done it yeah, so many right. times. You're absolutely right. You go back to that 22, dude, that 22 finals run where they just like, all right, so Wiggins is getting guarded by whoever. Draymond's got the ball, and we're just going to involve two people. We're not even going to put the big in there. Yeah. How many cuts did Wiggins get? He runs into the to the to the split action and doesn't and even split. stop. He doesn't even stop. Just straight to it. And it's a layup. And you know or what's dunk. interesting? You think about that that run. You talking about getting in the playoffs? You can't beat high basketball IQ teams with a low basketball IQ team. No, there's no. And way. at the time, some of those teams I didn't think were, were high <laughs> basketball IQ, IQ teams. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It's interesting. Aaron Gordon talked about that. Because they, they beat them in the first round. And that was a big takeaway for me. Now, they didn't have the personnel. They didn't have KCP, right? right? They didn't have the personnel. Murray was hurt. Mm-hmm. But it, I'm not saying, guy, I don't, would never say a guy's dumb. I'm saying basketball IQ. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They got outsmarted that series. Yeah. Jokic was a monster, all that stuff, but they got outsmarted. They got outsmarted. Mm-hmm. And Aaron Gordon has talked about coming off of that series being like, I got I to gotta become a smarter basketball yeah. player. Yeah. To, to win at the highest to level. To win at the highest level. And he did it. Hey guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching Mind the Game podcast. If you like it, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you.